The increasing influence of climate change on our weather systems is undeniable. This highlights the crucial role that forecasting plays in enabling communities to prepare for severe weather events. Sangeeta Kandola recently spoke with UMETSAT in the studio to discuss how its new generation of satellites will deliver more detailed information to weather services and potentially save lives. I'm joined by Phil Evans, Director General, and Jenny Rourke, Head of Real-Time Services and System Operations for UMETSAT. Phil and Jenny, thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, Phil, let's start with you. Talk to me about the key advancements and capabilities of this new generation of satellites. Well, we've started to launch, as you said, um, two new generations of satellites that will replace our existing fleet. I mean, essentially, these satellites are providing better observations of the Earth, uh, with more detail and more frequently, and in some cases, observations that have never taken place before. Jenny, if I can go turn to you now, can you uh, sort of elaborate on the overall impact the next generation satellites uh, are expected to have, particularly in terms of now casting and early alerts for severe weather warnings? Yes, uh, Meteosat third generation uh, Imager 1, which is our, our latest satellite, is a geostationary satellite. It's positioned over the equator. It gives us a fantastic view of Europe, but also uh, the whole disk. So we get it's positioned over Africa. And an example of how it will save lives is over Lake Victoria in East Africa, where fisher people go out onto the lake um, every evening to, to, to collect their fish, to feed their families. But thunderstorms develop in the evening. And currently it's very hard for forecasters to, to see them developing. But the imagery from our satellite will allow them to get very early detection of the development of these severe thunderstorms. It will allow them to send warnings, which will save lives of the fisher people on the lake. I mean, it's quite an exciting development in that sense, isn't it, that to be able to have this advancement? And turn to you now, Phil. Um, I mean, it's quite exciting, isn't it? It's crucial to have these new generation of satellites. Yeah, I mean, the impact of weather and severe weather events is absolutely enormous. Uh, over the last 40 years, um, severe weather events have caused over 550 billion euros worth of damage in Europe and have killed uh, over 150,000 people. So the impact is absolutely massive. And these satellites are fundamental to the improvement of forecasts. And that translates directly into saving lives, protecting property uh, and supporting the economy. And Jenny, tell me about the operational aspects of ensuring continuous coverage. Uh, what does it take to keep this running and ensure that it actually makes a real difference? So we need 24-7 satellite imagery to feed into our weather forecasting models because we can't forecast the future weather unless we know what's happening right now. So we need to have uh, systems in our offices in Darmstadt that can support 24-7 operations. We've got teams of people here in our mission control center monitoring. We've got a lot of automation, but it does involve people as well to make sure that the data flows from the satellites, gets processed and del delivered to the users so that it can go into the numerical weather prediction, into the weather forecast models and produce forecasts so that people can issue warnings and save lives. Phil, UMITSAT is part of a wider community of weather services that deliver operational data. How crucial is this kind of collaborative effort in ensuring the effectiveness of your operations? The scale of the problem that we're dealing with is enormous. The impacts are enormous. And of course, it touches every corner of the world. So uh, to deal with a problem of that scale requires uh, a global collaboration. And that collaboration is quite remarkable. It's built on strong relationships between organisations like that, weather services who deliver forecasts. We have incredibly strong relationships with other satellite organisations around the world. And that really is the bedrock of our success and the bedrock of how we're able to deliver improved warnings and improved forecasts. And just, you know, there, just the advances in technology. Talk to me about what the future holds. So, you know, we, we, we're just about to launch our next generation of satellites, but we're already looking to the future. So we're developing uh, proposals for two new programs, one of which is uh, a space-based laser that will measure winds through the atmosphere uh, and aerosols. And the other proposal is a constellation of six satellites that will measure temperature and humidity in the atmosphere 
all over the globe. Uh, but also, as everyone knows, there's developments in AI and machine learning, and that will have profound impacts in what we do. Again, in enabling us to provide better services, better forecasts, and better warnings. Okay, Phil and Jenny, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.